Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna to change the fluid in the Toyota Supra here. Uh, we're gonna use the 8100 e um, Ecolite by Motul. It's a 020 fluid and the uh, car calls for 020. We're gonna go through how to take this cover off. Everybody knows how. Oh, I forgot to mention, we're gonna use the uh, BMW style OEM filter that's gonna be available on the Speed Industry site. Uh, we'll have links below. And then we're gonna show you the um, filter. Uh, it's a cartridge style with a 32 millimeter uh, socket. All right, let's go and get underneath the car and drain this thing. I forgot to tell you guys, uh, the filter kit, it comes with a uh, crush washer and then it comes with a ring for the cartridge, which you'll see both uh, later in the video here. All right, guys, before we get the car up in the air, uh, we're gonna get this uh, off. So we're gonna take this off here. We're just gonna set it over here on the side. And we're gonna lift this bad boy off here. Just set this on the side. Here's the filter. Then uh, we'll come back to the cartridge after we drain the fluid. It is that guy right there. All right, so we're underneath the car. So basically we're gonna come under here and in the front, you're gonna spin this guy out. It says open on it one way. That little black part's gonna line up and you're gonna pull it down. And right there's our 17. So let's get the socket, get that out. All right guys, so this is the uh, 17 mil and we're gonna break it loose. Okay, we just did that. And then we're just gonna get this thing spun off and uh, then we'll probably finger do it the rest of the way. And again, this car is uh, cool already, so we don't recommend doing it while it's warm, but it's fairly easy to do your own oil, um, especially if you guys are uh, running on the track a lot and you wanna catch it in between things, um, in between the cycle that the, the dashboard says. Um, obviously, we'll figure out how to get the uh, car to reset. If you guys do know how, please leave the comment below and go from there. So here we go. Dropping this down. So what we do is we want to wait for this to drain completely. And remember the uh, up top, we pulled the, the cap off. So then after this, we're going to lower the car down. We're going to take the cartridge out up top and we'll, uh, then we're going to place that back in, fill the drain and then fill it up. So hang on. All right, so this has been a couple minutes. We're just uh, letting this drain. This is a good time now to kind of check your tire pressure, uh, do a, you know, a quick, um, check of the undercar you know we've been scraping a little bit here so it's a good time to check stuff out but yeah this needs a good uh two three minutes and then we're going to put the plug back in with the new washer all right guys so this is included in the kit this is the uh, drain plug washer uh crush washer uh one side is actually like rough and the other side is rounded you want the rough side to go up to the car uh to the pan itself so we're going to grab our plug put that on i'm going to lightly thread this um you know, there's probably specs in the owner's manual and stuff, but it's um, basically you just want to get this nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten it. And if we know this, if we uh, once we look up the specs, uh, I'll type them down below. I looked it up. Uh, I was told it was 15 foot pounds. Okay. Okay guys, here's, uh, we're gonna clean this. We're gonna get all the oil off it. No any uh, extra oil residue and stuff, so we're using Nelson Brake Cleaner. Um, and again, we just already torqued this down. Okay guys, so we just cleaned this up with the brake fluid. We're gonna leave the black uh, plastic piece off and uh, we're gonna recheck this after we put the fluid back in and then uh, check for leaks and stuff. All right, so we're gonna use the uh, 32 mil and we're gonna get in right here. And we're gonna break this loose. So we got a nice, uh, some, some leverage on this. And get that spun off. Okay, so we're just basically gonna break this loose. Okay, now I'm gonna do the rest by hand. All right guys, so basically we're gonna come in and grab this, but we're gonna be careful. We don't wanna drop it. And it's just a cap, and then we don't want the uh, the oil to get all over the place, so I kind of pull it up quickly like that. This wasn't too bad. All right, let's get into the next step. Let's get the filter out. I'm just gonna set this on the side up here, and then basically. All right, so we got the filter out. Ours was a little stuck. Um, I don't know if it's just for miles, but just we gave it a good yank, and it pulled right out after that. 
So, all right, we'll see if we want to cut this open. Let me find out. All right, guys, we're going to cut this. Uh, we're going to cut it from here down, and then we're going to cut this side down, and we're going to try to spread it open. So uh, hang on, and I'll record this for you guys. I'm going to get this in here with the dike and try to cut it this way. Might need something a little bigger. So we're doing this so we can inspect the inside of the uh, filter. You're not going to see it on the outside. You're going to see what's on the inside. And some metal shavings are going to be normal. All right, so we got the other side split open. Uh, the dikes kind of helped it a little bit. Hold it. And I'm put my hand here. Good thing. Oh, it's always good to have another person helping you with this stuff. Oop. Careful. And that was uh, one of the rings. So basically that's fine. Just breaking this thing apart and we're gonna get the last cut here. All right, let's spread her open. Let's see what we got here. Look at that big piece. Oh my God, it's plastic. <laughs> this is like the rod bearing, dude. Just kidding. Hold on. Um, let's see. Let's, all right. Let's see what we got here. So now we open this thing up, like, so, super um, accordion style. Yes. So that's the filter expanded. We can go through here and see. We can see some some stuff right there, which is normal. Let's ask the. What's your opinion? Looks normal. Good engine. Good. Good engine, Toyota. I mean BMW. Yep. All right, guys, so um, we, we got some oil on the finger here, and we're lubing this thing up. We're putting a little bit on. There's an inside ring, and there's an outside ring. This is the bottom of the filter. And really, you don't have to do too much on the top, but it's not a bad idea to do that as well. Okay. A little bit there. So we're good. All right, so we're putting the other ring on. Uh, basically, um, took this one off. We stretched it out, and uh, we're getting it right in that specific groove on the bottom there. And it's got enough oil and stuff on it, so we're good. All right, so we're putting this together. We're going to click this in here. So that clicks in, and then we're going to screw the whole thing in there. Okay, we'll get this screwed in, and then we're going to put the uh, socket back on. It's the 32. So when we get this uh, tight, we'll uh, put the specs down below, but probably just uh, nice and snug. Okay, one thing you do when you want to do is like there's some extra oil residue and stuff. You want to wipe it down. We're going to spray some brake cleaner down on here too. And then we're going to wipe it all out. So this will help with the smells and stuff like that. And then um, double check, but that's nice and snug. Hey, we're good. Yeah. Hey, what's up? So uh, we're gonna put the uh, fluid in now. So we're just gonna use the funnel here. This takes, uh, we're gonna put seven in. We're just gonna kind of take our time doing this and uh, go from there. There's one. I'm not gonna record all these, but uh, you guys are gonna get the point. So, obviously. Okay, so this is our last and final quart. Little number seven. I found that it just, this stuff works really well. This uh, spout that this comes with. You start flipping it up too much like this, it just doesn't come out as nice. So that's it. So now we're gonna, um, that last little bit in there. And then uh, we're gonna pressurize it. We're gonna put the cap back on. And we're gonna start her up, check everything out, uh, lift the car back up and check for leaks at the drain plug. I notice we don't have oil all over the place. So we're not gonna clean anything here. Put this on, one click, it's parallel this way. Everything's good. All right guys, so you're gonna go into your vehicle stats 
Now we already know that we can't check the oil temp the levels and stuff. The car actually needs to be warm. So when you hit start measurement, you know, it needs to be 30 minutes warm. But we know that it's seven quarts of oil. We've done this before. And uh, basically we're just gonna go check everything, make sure everything's good. And when we drive around, we're gonna go back into the screen, check it out and see what's going on. Okay, so the car is um, idling. So we just came in here and checked for leaks and stuff. There's nothing up there, everything's dry. Again, we cleaned everything with that brake fluid, which will get any uh, oil residues off. So we're gonna go underneath and check. Okay, so we ran the car. This is as dry as can be. So now we just need to put the cover on, which is this guy. Sorry, I had light in my pocket. So basically there's a uh, open arrow which goes this way, close is this way. So there's open, just to show you guys again. And that is close. So it's nice and solid. And again, we checked it, so there's nothing in there. So we're good. All right, we're gonna put the cover on and that is the end of this video. Go ahead and uh, drop her down. Look at all those bugs on this thing. So all we need to do is put this cover on the top. Get in there. And we're good. Best thing to do is clean that up. So we're gonna clean that up. It's looking. All right, guys. So she's all finished. Uh, we got the seven quarts of uh, zero twenty Motul in there. Uh, we have changed the oil a couple times on this car. This car has seen a lot of uh, testing and tuning on the dyno. We're running the full Accutech system on here uh, with our new tune that has been doing really, really well. It's really smooth. It's making a lot of power. Um, don't really get into that, but check out other videos. We have a whole video on the whole series on the Accutech stuff. Uh, I'll leave you guys with a clip on the inside showing that the oil levels are at their proper spot. All right, guys, as said, uh, we are doing the oil check. We got the car up to operating temperature. So it's gonna go through this uh, sequence and then uh, uh, make sure we're good. I will say I noticed when this was uh, doing this, the uh, RPMs kind of kicked up a little bit. It's kind of interesting. Let's see if we failed. We are perfect. We're at the max. We're good. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching our video again. Um, this was uh, just because it's Corona stuff. I filmed it this way. So hopefully you enjoyed it and it was uh, informative for you guys. Uh, thanks. Stay tuned and subscribe.